What's up guys, this is Audit from TechZZ and today I'm going to show you how to use Canva. So Canva is one site which I find really useful and I feel that everyone should know the basics of how to use this. So Canva can be used for various things, from creating a logo to a thumbnail or even an Instagram post, this has many uses. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to use this. So let's get started. So right now I'm on canva.com but you can also get the app which is on the Play Store or the App Store. And now once you've reached the website, you'll just have to click on sign up, which is on the top right. So you'll have to log in with your email ID. So once you've logged in, this is the home page which you'll see. And I'll quickly show you around some of the settings. So on the top left, they have templates. So they have templates for many topics like social media, personal, business. So you can go through all of these. After that, in the center, you can select what size you want your design to be. So they have some default sizes like for Instagram posts, for post or for logo. You can just click on custom size over here. And if you want to search for something, you can just search over here. So if I just search YouTube, you can see how many options they've given from channel art to intro to tutorial YouTube thumbnail. So if you're looking for something, then by searching, you'll find tons of options. Right now, I'll just create a custom size. So I'll click on custom size, which is over here. And now I'll just enter something. So I've entered 1080 by 1080p, which is for Instagram. So I'll just click on create a new design. So I'll open it in a new tab. And over here, I'll quickly show you some of the settings. So again, on the top left, it's written file. And now you can rename this design by clicking on this icon over here. So, so I've just renamed this to trial right now. Then below that, you can find the dimensions. Then you have other options like show ruler, show margins. Then you can make a copy and download it from here. After that, they have another setting, which I really like. So that's sharing this design with others. So if many people are working on this simultaneously, then this is really helpful. So if I just click on share, then over here, I can add the email ID of who I want to share it with. And then I can decide whether I want to allow the person to edit it, to use it as a template or to view it. And then I can share it through Canva or I can just copy the link and share it. And after that, you can also share it by downloading it or post it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter from here. So these are basically all of the settings. And now let's get straight into the design. Now on the left, you have many tools. And if I click on more, you'll find even more of them. So if I go back to template, so over here, I can again search for loads of templates. So right now I'll just select one and I'll show you how it works. So I'm selecting this one for now. And you can see that you've tons of options in this template. So you can obviously change the text. So I'll just double click. I can just type anything I want. After that, I have many options on the top. So over here I can change the font size, the color. So these are all the usual tools and I can change everything over here. So even each of these triangles, if I click on it, then I can either delete it or then I can change the color of it. So again, if I click on this one, then if I click over here, I can change the color. I can change the size, I can crop it, flip it. So, so you have many options, even in a template. So I'll just go back and I'll show you how to create one from scratch. So on Canva, to undo and redo, you can use Ctrl Z and Ctrl Y. So this is helpful. So this is really helpful as well. So now to go back, I'll just press Ctrl Z. And now I've gone back. So now to start from scratch, we'll first just put a background. So I'll click on background, which is over here. So now over here, they have some of their own backgrounds. So you can just go through all of these. But if you want some picture, which is on your PC, I'll show, I'll show you how to do that as well. So right now I'll just say, select this one. And again, over here, you have many options on the top. So I can change the color if I want by clicking on this icon over here, which is background color. So now I have some default colors. So if I want to make it yellow, it'll change to this. And after that, if I click on this plus icon, I can select the exact color which I want. So this is helpful as well. Now I'll just show you how to add a picture which is on your PC. So for this, you'll have to go to uploads, then click on upload media from device. So right now, I just select this picture called white. So now you can see that the photo has come over here and I can just drag it onto my design. And over here, I can resize it. And to make this a background, there's a simple thing that you can do. Just right click on it and click on replace background. 
So now it automatically resizes this to make it your background. So I'll just go back. So now the same way you can add pictures which are already on your PC by clicking on upload media. After that you can add some elements. So I find this extremely useful for thumbnails. So over here they have lines, shapes or even if you want some stock photos or logos they have all of that over here. So over here they've suggested nature and if I just click on that you'll find many pictures which are related to nature and if they don't have this crown icon which is pro then you can use them and it won't have any watermark. So now I'll just add this one. So I dragged it here and I can just fit it. So if I click on this picture you'll find some options which are on the top and I'll show you the important ones. So they have effects over here and over here and over here you can just change the effects and if you have the pro version then you can also remove the background which is helpful for many photos. You can change the filter by clicking over here. So if I go to drama then you can see that it's changed. After that if you go to adjust you can have many options over here. Then you can crop it by clicking on crop. Then position is one thing which I find helpful. So if you want to have it right in the center instead of moving it around and finding the exact spot I can just click on position then center and now it's automatically moved to the center. So this is really helpful as well. After that you can just lock the photo. So if I'm sure that I want the photo over here for my design then if I just lock it so now it won't move and it make it easier for me to add more things. So this is related to the pictures. After that I'll show you text. So if I go to text they again have some fonts and colors over here or you can start from scratch by clicking on add a heading. So I'll select that. So now I've dragged it over here and I'll just add some title. So, so I've just written this over here and if I select it I again have tons of options on top. So I'll quickly change the font then the font size, the color then I can make it bold or italics. Then to align it just click on align and now you can centrally align it, aligned on the left, right, you have many options. After that, letter spacing is one thing which I like. So if you feel that the words are too close to each other, then just click on, then select letter spacing. And now you can see that they've gone far apart. Or I can move them closer, depending on whatever you like. After that, they've, after that they have some other options as well. So if I click on more, I can underline them, make them all capital or all small. And then, like I'd shown earlier, I can change the position and keep it in the middle. So you can see that it's gone over here. So I'll put it back on top. And now to align it in the center, I can just move it. And now you can see that the purple line is showing. And now it's in the center. After this, to make this more interesting, you can click on effects. Then you have many effects over here. So if I just click on shadow, then to make this stand out, I can just change the shadow, so I'll make it some brighter color, so I'll make it green. And then I can change the offset, the direction, the transparency, so whatever looks the best, you can just change it to that. And then after that you have other options as well. So if I click on more, then I can add audio. So obviously for an Instagram post, this can't be added unless it's a video. But if I just click on audio, then again the ones which don't have the crown icon are for free. So if I just drag this over here. So now you can see that the music has come on top over here. After that I can also add a video. So if I go to video, then they have some stock videos over here. And the same way you can just drag it onto this and then it'll start playing. So after this they also have styles. So that's written over here. So these are some default styles. I'll just select one for now. And you can see if you like it. So I can leave it like this for now. So the last thing what I want to talk about is about Canva's autosave feature. So this is really helpful if all of your tabs shut off your computer loses power. So I'll just show you how it works. So if I just shut this tab, then you can go back to your home page, refresh it. And now under your designs, you'll find all of your designs. So now if you see edited a few minutes ago, this is the one which I just made and if I click on it and now I've got this design back. So this is really helpful as well and I hope this video helped you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.